this evening. I really appreciate it. It's just such a, a joy to be back at Hope United Methodist Church where I grew up and uh, to see all you wonderful people. Um, I wanted to try a little experiment before we got started. Um, I want you to stand if you are in any way related to me. <laughs> to stand if you're related to me. Okay, now keep standing, keep standing. Now, anybody that knew me when I was growing up, stand. Okay, so, this shows you how important friends and family are. You can have a seat. Thank you for being here. Thank you, family, friends, and thank you for those of you who I haven't met yet. I also wanted to do one other thing. You all have heard of a selfie? You know what selfies are? Have you ever heard of an ussy? <laughs> We're going to do an ussy.
fortunate to be able to go to the Czech Republic. And um, of course, that's where my, my dad's <coughs> family is from. And um, so after we went there, I decided that I wanted to play um, a couple of pieces that are from a Czech composer, um, Antonin Dvorak. And the first one is one that is based on a melody for, from one of his um, symphonies that he supposedly wrote in Iowa. And um, it was called the New World Symphony. And so that one, this one is uh, based on that melody. And then the other one is quite a different um, style um, from Dvorak also. So the next two are Czech composer Dvorak.
It's for music stands. Oh. <laughs> now? Oh, there we go. Um, this next, next piece, How Great Thou Art, has very special meaning to me. Um, within the last year, I played this for two separate funerals. And the first funeral was um, a man that was very dear to me. And I was asked to play it by his wife. And three months later, she requested that I play it for her own funeral because she was dying too. And um, it, was, it was a very special thing for me to be able to play for, um, both of them having been sick for quite some time. And um, so I share this with you, how great thou art.
Now we're going to try a little singing. This is at Mom's request. My last concert, I didn't do any singing, but she said I had to sing. So. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Don't cry for me, Argentina.
it's hard when you're coming from out of town and looking for musicians and um, you don't know people beyond the people that I know here at Hope Church. And um, John was able to find me two wonderful musicians and I really appreciate their willingness to come and play with me, so thank you. <coughs>
favorite part of a concert because I come back and you're still here. <laughs> it makes me feel really good. I checked with mom during the intermission. She said, I'm doing okay, so I feel great. Right. I'm going to sing a little song here that's a little different than the other one. Start calling his name here in church. 
show is um, something that I put together from um, a little concert, uh, organ concert that I did over in the Czech Republic. And it came about in a, a very um, amazing way um, through some relatives that I had not met yet over there. And um, we had been emailing and uh, after we had left on our trip to uh, Europe, I got an email from her the day after I left and she said, oh, the priest would love for you to give a concert here in our cathedral. <laughs> well, I didn't have any music with me and uh, this was still, this would have been two weeks um, away. So I thought I could not, not take a chance like that and not do it. So I decided to do it. And I had um, a friend <coughs> email me music and I sent it to my relative over there and she copied it for me and had it ready to go when I got there. I got about 45 minutes on the organ to figure out the organ to, and not a whole lot of time to practice. But I'm going to play one of the pieces that, um, that I played. Um, the other thing was that this, was, this concert was a part of something that was happening all over Europe called uh, Night of Churches. And every place we went in Europe, we saw banners and posters and everything for this Night of Music. And lots of churches were participating and they would have their own little things happening in their own churches. But all the churches, or many of the churches, were open that night. And it just happened that we were coming into town that night that I was able to do this. So that's when you see at the beginning of the, the video all the, um, the, con the banners and things in different, from different cities that we happen to see. So um, I hope you enjoy it.
the church itself was built in, um, I think it was the late 1600s. Um, and this was about five miles from where my great-great-grandfather, John Selassik, was born. And so it was so neat to be in that area and, and feel, feel like I was home. It was really, it was neat. So. <coughs> now we're back to this country. <laughs>
this last piece is one that I started working on about a year ago, maybe a little more, and I really didn't think I would ever get it good enough to be able to play in public. I'm hoping that I have learned it well enough to play in public, so I hope you enjoy it.